Something strange just buzzed the U.S. Navy. This story, up next, on The Edge. And greetings, my fellow connoisseurs of all things edgy. We got even more UAP news for you this week, thanks to those fringe UFO agencies like the Pentagon. Leaked video footage of what appears to be a triangular-shaped or pyramid-shaped UFO buzzing the USS Russell near San Diego back in 2019 is being covered everywhere from CNN to Fox News. And when CNN and Fox News agree on something, we may just have a sure sign of the impending apocalypse. Forget the war on terror or global warming. Alas, it's little green men that finally brings us together as a country. Any news that can get Anderson Cooper and Tucker Carlson singing Kumbaya together may very well save this planet. In addition to the video footage you're seeing, several photos of UFOs were recently released, one being described as spherical, one that looks like an acorn, and one that has been described as a metallic blimp. Well, I just had to see what our favorite video game programmer turned UFO debunker extraordinaire Mick West was saying about all of this, and he concluded after a few seconds that it was just a normal plane, or planets, or stars that happened to be out of focus, something known as the bokeh effect. The bokeh effect. Well, then the Pentagon had to ruin poor Mr. West's fun once again by authenticating the video. Quote, I can confirm that the reference photos and videos were taken by Navy personnel, unquote, says the Department of Defense spokeswoman Sue Gu to CBS News. She went on to say, As we have said before, to maintain operation security and to avoid disclosing information that may be useful to potential adversaries, the Department of Defense does not discuss publicly the details of either the observations or the examinations of reported incursions into our training ranges or designated airspace, including those incursions initially designated as unidentified aerial phenomena. She then confirmed that the photos and videos were being studied by the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force established by the Pentagon. Jeremy Corbell released a video on his Twitter page and said in an interview, quote, These are images and video shot by our U.S. military during a variety of UAP encounters, incursions by advanced transmedium vehicles of unknown origin, interacting and observing our Navy's warships and fleet deployments in a restricted airspace, unquote. This news comes at about the same time that former CIA director James Woolsey said he had a friend whose plane was stopped in mid-air at 40,000 feet by a UFO. Woolsey thus joins ex-CIA director John Brennan and more recently former director of national intelligence John Radcliffe, who have come out of the closet as believers in UFOs, thus driving Mick West crazy. If only our intelligence community understood the bokeh effect as well as Mick West does. Former director of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, Lou Alessandro, was asked by the Today Show if these were the most compelling videos the Pentagon had. He responded that these were actually probably the least compelling, and that they have some videos where you see an object about 50 feet away from the cockpit. I'm so looking forward to the Pentagon's promised release of its upcoming UFO report to Congress. I'm sure Mr. West is already writing his counter-report filled with explanations like birds, balloons, and planes. Add some swamp gas to the mix and you'll have yourself one great buzzkill YouTube video. Oh, I'm sorry I keep picking on you, Mr. West, but I just love that we're living in a time when the Pentagon and intelligence community is shouting UFOs and the debunkers are responding, stop believing in conspiracy theories. In either sense, the truth is out there but I suspect it's not a bow key. That's our show for today, everyone. See you next time on The Edge. And if you like my content, be sure to check out my award-winning young adult novels, including Puka is the Outcast, A Scout is Brave, and Unwatchagi the Dreamer.